as Guyana forges ahead with clean, renewable energy transition. G Mall's plans for additional stations expansion. Flash Motors has entered a partnership with the Guyana Energy Agency G to provide electric vehicle charging infrastructure, software, installation services, and training to enable the government of Guyana's transition to electric transportation. That the project is significant for Guyana as it marks the first publicly accessible charging infrastructure along the country's traveled coast, signaling the market's readiness for an electric mobility future. The project follows to remove the 14% value added tax charged for importing new electric vehicles, and the government's facilitation of training for Guyanese auto technicians in EV maintenance and repair. Electric vehicle charging stations are now available at several locations across Guyana, providing easy accessibility to hundreds of vehicle owners. During a site visit to one of six stations located at Amazonia Mall in Providence, that the $39.3 million investment is part of the government's Low Carbon Development Strategy LCDS to facilitate the robust transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy fits quite nicely into our Low Carbon Development Strategy 2030 through the LCDS 2030, encouraging more use of renewable energy sources. In this case, motor vehicles can transition from using gasoline or diesel vehicles, which is fossil fuel. Now Guyana, these public charging stations, which makes the ability to charge your vehicle on the move more accessible. Charging stations have been installed at Amazonia Mall in Providence, the Chetty Jagan International Airport Sigia in Timery, the Giftland Mall on the east coast of Demerara, Little Rock Suites in New Amsterdam, S&R Parking Lot in Perica, and outside of the G's office on Quamina Street, Georgetown. These stations are currently under a three-month trial and testing phase and are being monitored by the Guyana Energy Agency G engineers. During this period, consumers can recharge their vehicles free. To use the stations, vehicle owners can simply download the Flash Charge app, register, and charge their vehicles at any of the six locations across the country. This fits nicely into our transition of fossil fuel to renewable energy. This is the future, to invest in electric vehicles to further support the government's efforts in transitioning to renewable energy and safeguarding the environment. Guyana has also removed the 14% tax on vehicles in order to encourage greater use of electric vehicles. A budgetary allocation will be made in 2024 to facilitate the installment of more infrastructure to support electric vehicle charging at $1.80 per kilowatt hour. That's very affordable for anybody with an electric vehicle, as he compared it to other Caribbean charging rates for electric vehicles, ranging from G$81, G$176 per kWh, and $156, G$183 per kWh. This project promotes e-mobility development, demonstrates potential business opportunities in electric mobility, and signals the market's readiness for an electric vehicle's future. The total cost that we install these units is $39.3 million. That's about $1.5 million per unit. Look at other types of technology other brands to see how we could lower that cost. At $1.80 per kilowatt, vehicle owners can fully charge their vehicles at the cost of $1.2500 to $1.4000 depending on the model and battery capacity of the vehicle. Already vehicle owners have been able to use the stations that have been installed across Guyana, that the new infrastructure has made traveling a lot more convenient. Previously, she would have recharged her vehicle at home, but now can do so on the go, in order to provide more Guyanese with access to energy efficient and carbon dioxide, reducing alternative mobility options. The government announced fiscal initiatives. These included the removal of 14% tax on brand new, non-hybrid electric motor vehicles and an annual increase to 50% of the writing down allowance for all electric motor vehicles in order to encourage businesses to make the investment decision to transition to greener cars.